More than 140,000 fans of the brand of Seat selected the name of the new big SUV of the brand. And now we're here to heading the world premiere. At the moment, the guys don't let me in, but in a few seconds, we're going to see the new Seat Tarako. And so I say welcome to Tarragona and the world premiere of the new Seat SUV. So next to me is Dr. Rabe, Head of Development and Research, Seat. Um, I have one question. We do see now the brand new Turaco, so this is a big SUV. You say mid-size, but it's quite big. Um, what was the biggest, um, biggest thing you have to, to deal with to bring that car to the road? No, it's um, you know, basically to bring together the, the Seat genes. That means really to bring emotion, uh, fun to drive, uh, fantastic design together with the functionality. And uh, I think at the end it works uh, pretty well. Uh, because the car has a lot of functionality, it has a big inside space, it has uh, more than 700 liter trunk volume, it has a possibility for up to seven seats, that means a lot of functionality, a lot of versatility, but on the other hand side, typical set, typical set means very emotional design, fantastic quality to drive, but also comfortable, and to bring that all together, and to bring all the, the necessary technology in, driving assistance system, that was a challenge on that car. Um, when we talk about uh, the the competitors of that car, where do you see where you, where do you position the uh, Taraco? For me, very sure, this car is the sportiest car in the segment. You feel that when you drive, by on the other hand side having all the rational values, uh, and it's for me it's very emotional with the typical Seat design. You see that we have our Seat design DNA in the car. You see the light signature of the car, and that that makes the car special. When we talk about engine and powertrains, um, you now offer TDI, so diesel and petrol engines. Will, will there be something more, let's say, futuristic in the future? No, for sure. Uh, I think the main pillar are the gasoline engines, the diesel engine, very clean engines for the future. Uh, but you, we will also have that car in a plug-in hybrid version. That means a combination of a gasoline engine with an electric drivetrain in order to give the customer a very low fuel consumption, a CO2 value of less than 50, 50 gram per kilometer. Um, and um, on the other hand side, an electric range from more than 50 kilometers. That means the customer can go in an urban area, in a city area, all electric, uh, but on the long run then go with a very efficient combustion engine and that makes the car really future proof. When we talk about powertrains and natural gas, which is quite important for Seat, what about that car and natural gas? CNG is extremely important for us. Today we have a really complete lineup of CNG. We start with the Mi, we have it in the Ibiza, we have it in the Arona, we have it in the Leon. We will see more cars to come, but uh, on the CNG priority list is not so much the, the Taraco. I think with the Taraco, I'm sure with the Taraco, with the diesel, with the gasoline engine and with the plug-in hybrid, we have a perfect setup. The front of the Taraco is dominated by the new designed grille of the car, which now features that new line here. You never saw that before on a Seat. And very important, that grille is more up and it's a lot wider than it was before. And that is framed by these new headlights here. They come in full LED and they're a bit more into the car. So that really gives the car a bit of an angry look. Very important, full LED. Uh, the daytime running lights, they feature this typical triangle a line as well. Then we do have on top this very large air intake down there and that together really gives the car a very solid look at the front. The Seat Taraco features up to 20 inch alloys and that combined with a wheelbase of 2 meters 80 really makes the car look solidly on the road. But when you look at the lines of the car you can see that up here goes straight through the whole car. There's no break in it. That is more the Seat Arteca than it is the Arona. And when you look down to the bottom here that is not as sharp as it is 
with the Arona or with the new Seat Attacker. And this really is the new design philosophy of Seat. But I think if you, when you look at the car, you really can instantly see that is a typical Seat. And I think even though it's a big SUV, it still looks absolutely nice and sporty. When going around to the rear of the car, you see that part here, and that really looks very solid. And that really reminds me a bit to the Audi Q models or the Volkswagen Touareg. And when you then look to the rear of the car, you find these, um, they look like exhausts, but they are not. They are fake, but this is a typical thing you find at a lot of models, actually. And then, very important is we do find the typical Seat-shaped taillights, full LED technology. Very important is that reflector here. That is completely new and that connects the two taillights and gives the car a really very wide stand. So I think well, when you look at the rear of the car, another thing that is very interesting regarding to the design is that undercut hair because that really works perfectly to make the car look a bit more light uh, when you look from the rear or from an angle like that, the, as the camera do at the moment. And I think if you see the whole rear a tail of the car that really is solidly but it is on the other hand still a typical Seat. Taraco is built on the Volkswagen Group's MQB A long wheelbase platform. Seat is offering the Taraco with a choice of engines producing between 150 and 190 horsepower. The first thing that you will feel when you enter the new Turaco is for sure you have enough space. Even a tall person like me, nearly two meters high, does fit into that car absolutely comfortably. The rest of the car is a bit different than other Seat models and the biggest change is here at the dashboard because the new very big screen is no longer integrated into the dashboard, it sits on the dashboard and that gives us a couple of different uh, new things. For one, the dashboard could be, uh, the, the display can be bigger. The other thing is, it is integrated, which means that the dashboard could be th thinner quite, a, a lot thinner here, and that really makes the car look wider. So we have more horizontal lines, and that really gives the car a bit of spaciousness. And when you then look into here, you find a full digital cockpit, which we already know from other Seat models, but still something new. But the rest of the car really is like a typical Seat. It looks very nice regarding to the materials and very nice regarding to the craftsmanship, but a bit more modern than some of the other models out of the Volkswagen Group. Because of the size of the Turaco, it of course offers quite a reasonable boot size as well. That car features 760 litres with the first rear seat row up, and that increases up to 2,000 litres when you fold down both back seat rows. And uh, very important is that car is available as a five-seater and, as you can see here, as a seven-seater as well. That was the world premiere of the brand new Seat Turaco. I have to say I really do like the look of the car, even though it looks a bit like the other cars from the Volkswagen Group, but still this really is a real Seat. If it really drives as dynamic as Seat promises, I hope I can find out in a couple of weeks during the upcoming driving events.